your overly friendly tour guide. Nice to meet you. I will be taking you on your very first tour through the digestive tract. You ready? Let's go! Whoa. Now, here we are at our very first stop on the digestive tour. The mouth. Welcome to the mouth. That noise you hear is uh, the chomping of the teeth from the enzymes called analates, which are located in the saliva, which is this beautiful substance all around us. It's breaking us down to start through the esophagus. It's quite a lovely process, isn't it? We are now leaving the pharynx. Get on the peristalsis train. Woohoo! Uh, all right, well, here we are traveling down the esophagus through, uh, down into the stomach pretty soon here. We are. Just enjoy the stomach. If you look to your right and to your left, you will see the upper and lower sphincters. Their job is to uh, keep the food from traveling out, traveling in, so they would not ready. Now be careful below you, dear. This is the hydrochloric acid and uh, the pepsin. Their job is to break you down into tiny little mush so that you uh, can take the next step easier. Now, oh, you look positively terrified. <laughs> are, you, are you scared, honey? It's okay. It's a totally painful. where all the little protoses and the trypsin are inside taking care of breaking down all the uh, all the lipids and the fats and which are made by the bile you know the leftover stuff none of that's fun stuff and here we are passing the gallbladder totally pointless really to the overall body system however it is used to store the bile that is helpful in the small intestine while breaking down the nutrients that pass through stop the duodenum where you will continue to be broken down much like spring semester of senior year <laughs> oh, yes and the last two stops the next two which we'll be passing through quite shortly here they are responsible for the uh, well darling this is where you're going to have all the nutrients and energy just sucked right out of you and into the lining of the small intestine you know because the body needs that So say toodaloo to the small intestine because we are moving on to its big brother, the large intestine. Though I'm quite curious as to why they still call it the large intestine when really the smaller one is quite larger in length. And anywho, <laughs> we are moving on, like I said before. Now, in the large intestine, that's where there are, it has five different sections, honey. And basically, you just, it's processing the waste some more you know, draining it of its water and making it more solid. Now, if you look to your right, you'll see that we are slowly, very slowly, passing by the liver. The liver, dear, is where blood is siphoned through and cleaned of all of its poisons. Now, we are almost done with our tour. Here we are at the rectum, where stool and waste is stored until it's ready to be expelled out into the world. Yay! Rectum. This is it, Sweet Pea, the last stop on your tour, right here at the anus. Now, if you just follow me on through, we can conclude your journey. All right, go ahead. Oh. All right, come on now, Sweet Pea. Just pass out through the outer sphincter and we can conclude your journey. No! Sweet Pea, I haven't got all day. It's not really that hard. Come on. No! <sighs> Come on, Sweet Pea, I'll catch you.